Second Samuel seven twenty one. Second Samuel seven twenty two through twenty four. Second Samuel seven twenty through two twenty four. Surely thou art great, O God, for there is none like you thee, nor is there any God apart from thyself, according to all that has come to our ears. Um, this ain't saying that there's other gods, because there's not. This is just saying what they think these other gods are. You're far above that. You're bar, but far above what God, man can imagine God is. Is more detail about what he's probably saying. He didn't give him claim to other gods because they're just stones. But the ideas and the passion they serve behind him, God's above all that. Our best, God's above it. He'll accept our best and he wants our best, but he's far above the best we can give because we're flawed and he's perfect. Who moreover is like thy people, like Israel, a nation genuine, unique upon the earth, whom God went to redeem to be the people for himself, and so enhanced his own name, doing for them great things and terrible for thy land before thy people whom thou dost redeem for thyself from Egypt and from the nations of their God. Yes, thou hast established for thyself thy people, Israel, to be thine own people forever, and thou, O Lord, thou hast become their God. Now, now, now this is not saying that um, this is God's covenant with Israel. He's promoting it. We as Christians are adopted in, co-heirs to Christ, we're adopted into the Israeli family by Christ, um, but we have a higher blessing. We're redeemed by the blood of Christ. They were redeemed by their faith in God, which would later be proven by the salvation cross of Christ. Um, while Israel is no longer in this place of province, and they did end temporarily, God's relationship with us is internal. I believe this went beyond uh, it's saying to the people those that were committed to him those that were redeemed it's internal your redemption ain't going to go away there'd be a later generation that didn't receive the redemption but for those who received it it's eternal I believe this can be teaching eternal security which means we're saved by Christ we're saved once not saved multiple times. But if you never come to the cross, then you're never saved to begin with. There's many that never make him commit to him as Lord. And the reason why they're not being redeemed is because they haven't received the redemption. There'd be later generations of Israel that never served God and always forsake God. Well, they couldn't be redeemed by somebody they never served. Therefore, it's still eternal. It's just they did not receive the eternal promise.